Hello, but it's the Gangle Senior, and welcome to my review of the Transformers Rise of the Beast Studio Series Leader Class Scourge. Holy shit, look at this mother trucker right here. This is the big bad of the new movie. Count me impressed, man. Count me in and count me impressed, man. Holy shit, this design is awesome. The second, the second I saw this design, I literally said, where do I buy the toy? <laughs> I have been so excited for this figure for a while. Um, I cannot, uh, I finally got him and holy shit, he has not disappointed. He is such a cool figure. And he's also such a weird figure. There's so many things about this guy that are so bizarre, but so bizarre in like an, in like an awesome way, man. I really, really, really like this guy. I will say right off the bat, though, that it's not going to be all perfect. I do have a few negatives with this guy as well. But overall, he is a very, very, very cool bot, man. I'm really excited about this. But before I get into him, I do want to say one thing about his box right here. I wanted to point out one thing about his packaging right here. This picture of him on the front, you can see if you look at his arms here, he has like Autobot logos right there on his arms. So is this guy literally like armoring himself up with like scraps of Autobots that he's murdered? That's metal as fuck. Fuck, if, if that's the case. I, I'm excited to see this fucking villain in action in this movie, man. But without further ado, let's jump into the review of Leader Class Scourge. And Leader Class is right. He's a big boy. Look at the size of this mother trucker, dude. He has got a very nice presence to him. And I mean, look at this freaking thing. This is a, this guy is a bad guy in every sense of the word. Look at his crazy ass head sculpt, dude. Look at this freaking head sculpt. What even is this? Like, he's got, like, his head scope right there, nice silver, red eyes, and then he's got these, like, what is this entire thing right here, this, like, whole thing around his head that, like, elevates his head, like, two feet off of his body. I don't know what it is, but it's fucking awesome, dude. What a crazy-looking head design, and he, even if you zoom in really close on him, he has a third eye on his forehead right there. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. On the box, it definitely looks like a, uh, it definitely looks like a third eye on the box right there. Maybe it's just a little, uh, maybe it's just a little piece of his crest or something, but that is a crazy cool head sculpt. His mouth as well, very, very cool. And it is on like multiple joints. There's like a ball joint right here and then a ball joint at the bottom. It's a little weird though, because if you try and use it, it just likes to kind of spring back. Like watch, it just kind of likes to spring back. I don't know, it's kind of weird. There you go, see? It's a little bit weird, I don't know, but hey, you can make use of it, like you can get a little bit of like down and not really any up, but he can get a ton of upwards with like just the regular head right there, so very cool. I will say though, it's a little bit funky. On mine, it's not sitting like 100% properly, like this is the best I can get it to just like sit stock straight, like... This, this is the best I can get it, and you can see it's like, it's not, it's not 100% perfect, but it's fine, I mean, from a distance, you'll never be able to even know that anything's up at all. And then moving down to the chest, you have the grill of his insane truck mode, which don't worry, we will talk about. Holy mother of God, that is one scary ass truck grill, and it's very cool, the way this transforms as well, you're gonna see, very, very, very cool right there. But yeah, that's a really, really awesome chest design, and then you have over here his big ass shoulder pads right here. His arms are kind of crazy, they're on like these multiple joints and you can like bring that piece out and bring that down they're they're pretty darn crazy uh especially when you get them like as soon as like when i got him out of the box his, his arms were so confusing to me but then you figure them out and you're like okay yeah they're arms but oh my goodness gracious his arms have a lot of surprises don't you worry but there's some awesome like chains going around around his arms right there little like weathering marks and whatnot chains going around the grill as well chains right here all of those are chains right there super super cool some weathering on his crotch right there big ass wheels on the inside and his feet he does have some very thin legs i will say i think this guy could have used some more chunky legs for his design i mean like this looks cool and all but i feel like he's just like I, he's like really chunk-tastic at the top here and then he gets to the legs and he's just like these little like little like tiny little skinny legs but i think it would have been cool if they were a little bit fat or a little bit more imposing but hey this is what they went with and it does look pretty cool although honestly looking at this picture of him from the movie the proportions on this toy don't seem like completely 100% accurate. His torso looks a lot more like his torso looks a lot more like fat at the top and then like like tapers into a more narrow shape like I don't know if you can see right there. It kind of looks a little bit more. I don't know. It's probably very hard. To, like I can't, I can't I can't imagine how difficult uh these uh designers have like the, their their jobs to translate these things into toys, but I don't think this is like 100% accurate to the screen. But it might be. It honestly might be, but very very 
cool right there. Nonetheless, it looks awesome. Some nice silver right there for those little like pipe pieces right there. Absolutely awesome. But now we need to talk about these freaking arms because holy shit, this guy has some of the craziest arms I've ever seen on any Transformer figure. So we're going to start with this arm right here. So this arm is a like giant claw arm. So you can open up this giant claw right here. And that is pretty cool, man. I think that is super cool. This is one of the things that really, really made me love this design. Like that is crazy looking. And I'm sure if you had like a deluxe, like a deluxe figure or a core class figure right here, I'm sure you could probably have like some fun with it. Like, like this. There we go. Yeah. You can definitely have some fun. Have him like grab some bots or something like that. So yeah, you can like have him like grab a bot if you want to. That's pretty fucking cool right there. Very, very neat. So yeah, you have that awesome articulated claw if you want to. Or you can pop this entire arm off right here. Comes off right there. And you have the option to give him this big ass cannon arm right here. This just pops on like this and there's a little shape to it and there you go he now has this giant fucking cannon arm right here that is super super duper cool i love that i will say the cannon arm is a little stumpy looking like when you look at him from like this it looks a little bit stumpy but if you like have him just like aiming it it looks pretty badass it doesn't really look like uh, stumpy anymore when you just have him aiming it I, I dig this i think this is an awesome accessory and if you don't want to use this accessory but you want to keep it with him Beautiful, beautiful weapon storage on this guy. You have a little tab, you have a little uh, slot right there where you can just plug it onto his butt right there. And there you go, so you can have that stored. And if you would actually rather have him with the gun arm and you want to store his uh, claw arm, you can just take the claw arm here, fold it up. You have a little slot right there and you have a tab right there on his back and you can just tab the arm in there like that. So either way, you have full weapon storage. But now... Let's talk about this freaking thing. This is just the most bizarre thing I've ever seen in my life. So this dude's other arm right here has a giant claw right here, like a giant like blade right here. And it's crazy looking, right? Like a big ass arm blade. His hand has some articulation as well. There's a hinge in the fingers that lets you close the fingers. And this guy literally takes this like arm blade that's attached to it it's on like this giant like crazy joint and it just swings into his hand and then you close his hand around it yeah with every single picture i saw of this guy where he was holding this i thought for sure it was just an accessory and i have no idea why they did not just make it an accessory that he plugs into his hand or plugs onto the side of his arm instead he has this insane like this insanely complicated like triple joint system right here so you can either have it like folded up like the arm blade or you can have it in his hand right there and it's just like what on earth? Why did you do all of this crazy stuff? It's fun though. It's it's like really, really fun. Admittedly though, if you don't want it on his arm, you're shit out of luck. There's no way to take it off of his arm. It's not on a it's not on a hinge or a, or a ball joint or anything that you can just like pop off when you want to. It, it's it's on there permanently, but it's crazy looking. Like you can definitely have some fun with it. Like it's a really, really awesome little thing, but I don't understand why they didn't just make it an accessory that just plugs into his hand because now you have like this giant thing permanently attached to his hand and again it's cool as shit and you can just like it just like flies into his hand could you imagine having your sword just like built into your arm and it just goes whoosh, and it just like flies into your fucking hand that'd be pretty cool I want to see some anime characters do that in the future that is a dope ass little gimmick that this guy has man I dig it I, I think it's good it's cool and the way it transforms as well very very clever I I really really dig this uh, I really really dig this guy's arms and all of his crazy gimmicks man he's just a fun fucking bot dude I'm really happy Hasbro was doing more gimmicks lately doing more fun gimmicks that just make the, that just add to the figures playability and fun factor I'm really happy that Hasbro's bringing that back or seems to be bringing that back anyway now before, now, let's quickly talk about the articulation. Like, I already talked about the head articulation. We'll just move on from that. The arms, I also kind of talked about, they're crazy. Like, they're really, really crazy arms. You're going to have to get used to them. When you first get them out of the box, you're going to be like, what the fuck is going on here? And then you'll figure it out and you'll be like, okay, yeah, they're arms. Um, and then I will also say, though, that you can use the transformation joints right here to get some backwards butterfly right here. No forwards, although you can get a pretty good amount of inward uh, arm articulation right there. Like, you can get a pretty good, like, pointing and shooting pose right there if you want to. Really, really, really dope. Uh, he does have a nice waist swivel right here, which I actually did not know he had until I got him. Very, very cool. 
His legs can go up right there. He has a nice knee joint right there, about 90 degrees. His feet are a problem. This is one of my issues with this guy. His feet have this like weird like detent system in them right there, and they're also kind of loose, like the hinges are kind of loose. He's a little bit hard to stand up, is what I'm saying. He's a bit he's a bit top heavy, and since his legs are really thin, uh, he's a little bit hard to stand up. Like he like there's been a lot of times where I've like had him standing up, and then he just kind of falls over, and, or or he likes to lean forward or lean back and not look like proper, or like. Be He's standing on one foot and like he doesn't really fall over actually that's mostly what happens he'll be like leaning forward he'll be like leaning back or he'll be like he'll be like securely standing on one foot and then the other foot is like him like is like him like going over here like it's really hard to get his feet to line up properly to have him stand up properly if you don't understand what I'm saying just wait till you have him in hand and then you'll understand because uh spoiler alert I recommend this guy <laughs> but uh yeah but before we move on with uh the review before we do some comparisons I have to talk about my absolute biggest problem with this figure, my biggest problem with this figure is these awful, awful smokestacks on his back. They look cool, don't get me wrong, and they look awesome in the truck mode, but these things are literally held up with nothing but spit and hope. They literally just flop around everywhere. They just go up and, and they just like flop and flip around. Like they just, they don't stay where they go. There's literally nothing holding them there. They just fall over. They're just on these shitty little mushroom pegs on the back here and I've, I'm thinking about putting some, some some super glue in there thickening it up thickening it up a little bit I'm sure once I do that it will probably be fine but that's a huge pain in the ass and I also don't really have that much super glue left right now so I don't know and that's four different holes to do that with so yeah that's really obnoxious there should have been like a tab or something or a detent in here that held these fucking things up because as it stands right now they just flop everywhere and they are so annoying but that's honestly like my only major issue with this figure. So let's get into some comparisons. Alrighty, and for comparison, here he is with the Studio Series Galvatron and the Studio Series Sentinel Prime. There you have him with some more baddies right there, some more movie verse baddies, and two of my favorite Studio Series figures of all time. So yeah, oh uh, yeah, he, as you can see, he's a big boy. He is quite, quite a big boy, but definitely impressive. And for one more comparison, here he is with the Studio Series Leader Class Blackout. Just so you can see how he scales with another Studio Series Leader Class. And yeah, I wasn't expecting Blackout to be that to be him to be that same size. Actually, I'm uh, pretty pretty surprised by that. I always thought Blackout was a bit of a smaller leader, but yeah, I have that. And just for fun, here's my NECA Ultimate Jason, in case it helps anybody. And also, here's Lord Rimuru, just because we can never get enough Lord Rimuru. Transformation is actually surprisingly fun. Um, I will admit, I am someone who likes to truly like to figure out transformation for myself. I don't like to use the instructions, but for this guy, I uh, had to use the instructions. I gave up very fast. I gave it one attempt. I got it mostly into his truck mode, and then I transformed it back and used the instructions and found that the transformation was actually really, really smooth and really, really fun. So let's get into it. So first thing you want to do is you're going to want to fold his little blade up just like this, and then you're going to want to come down to the feet here. You want to rotate his legs here all the way around. You want to make sure the knee is completely straight. Then you want to take his foot. You want to bring this piece out on this hinge. Make sure that piece is pegged in right there. Then fold this piece down, and there's a peg that's going to go into that slot right there. And you're going to do the same thing on the other side here. So bring that in. Make sure the knee is flat, bring that down, and there you have that right there. You have these two pegs that are going to go into there, but you don't want to tie those in just yet. You're going to need that space. Now you're going to flip them over. You want to take this and this entire backpack piece. I oh, will take off this gun real quick. With this entire backpack piece, which by, which by the way, I forgot to mention, this backpack piece might look like a lot of kibble off the back, but you barely even notice it actually when you have the figure in hand. It's actually very manageable. So yeah, you want to pop this out, and then you want to fold out this little piece right here, and then fold out this little piece right here, just like that, and then you want to fold out these pieces just like that, and then you want to get this up out of here. It's on a bunch of hinges. You want to get it out of your way so you have enough space to take this arm right here, and you want to bring his blade out on that extra little hidden hinge right there. So you want to get that all the way out, and then you want to position the arm up like this, and then have that down, have the arm down just like this, and then you want to take this entire section right here, the entire arm, you want to untab that and flip this around just like this, get that all up there just like that, and then come to the back here, get this blade underneath his foot right there, and then tab it into that slot right there. So there's a tab right there, it's going to go into a slot right there, and there you have that. Then you want to come down to the foot here, you want to flip out this peg right here, and you want to plug his feet together in the bottom right there. That's going to make the truck, the, the bed of the truck right there, make sure that waist swivel isn't engaged right there. So there you have it, that is how you do one arm. You want to do the same thing on the other arm here, so you want to have this ready down, you want to bring this piece up like this, have that ready to go, and then you want to bring it up, untab that little butt joint right there, bring that piece up, make sure this is all leveled and these two and these pieces are like sitting straight about like that and then you want to make sure the arm is down like that yeah you can just leave the arm like that we're gonna have to do some we're gonna have to do a little bit more with it later on though but now you want to bring this piece you want to bring this piece down it's gonna tap it right there bring the whole roof down like that and then fold this down and that little piece is gonna go in between these pieces and then you want to clip it together right there now for by far the coolest part of this transformation this is so freaking cool okay so the torso piece right here you want to hinge these two pieces down you want to flip out the bumper like and then this is the coolest part right here you want to untab this this piece is gonna hinge out like that you want to fold out this little wheel right here this comes around and just tabs in place into that little slot right there and then this is the coolest part right here this entire wheel section right here is on this crazy mechanism right here where this piece like comes out like that that comes up and then you want to just kind of work the grill right here into place right there and it just goes right in that is so cool and obviously tab that peg into that slot right there how cool is that that crazy like armature that's on that is so badass and at this point you pretty much just bring these smoke stacks up bring this piece down you want to get that piece into that little slot right there and then you have a tab right there in there 
You have a tab right there. That's going to tab in place right there, just like that. And then you want to have all that set down. And then you need to come in here and you have a little, like, you have this weird, like, little shape right there. And you just want to get the arm claw in that little shape right there so that that sits flush right there. Pretty crazy little thing right there. And then the same thing on this side, except you don't have to worry about any of that other crap. You just bring that down, he'll get in there, plug that in there, and boom, there you have Scourge in his absolutely incredible truck mode. I told you that transformation may seem complicated, but once you do it, it's actually very fun and very smooth, especially the way that that bump, that this whole front piece comes together. I think it's so cool. Wow, wow, look at this freaking truck mode, dude. Holy shit, don't cut yourself on that edge, Scourge. <laughs> oh my god, dude, that is the most ridiculous fucking truck mode I've ever seen. Like, look at this fucking thing. You got this insane grill, these literally red tinted windows, giant horn, these gold pieces everywhere, this chain wrapped everywhere, this crazy aggressive, like, front thing right there, these giant, like, canisters sticking out of the front, dude, these massive smokestacks in the back, this thing literally looks like it came right out of Jeepers Creepers, dude, this truck mode is absolutely insane, this is probably the most, like, edgy fucking vehicle mode I've ever seen on a Transformer figure, but goddamn does he wear it well, is this such a cool freaking truck mode, man, I've certainly never seen anything else like it in, in Transformers, man, so such a cool truck mode. Like, this makes, like, every other, like, Scourge or Nemesis Prime truck mode look like absolute, like, child's play. Even, like, Darker Than Moon Megatron's truck mode. This is, this comes in and it is just like, wow, wow, and, like, wow, this thing is just absolutely insane, dude. Like, every little bit of detail to this truck mode. These massive fucking wheels right here. He does admittedly have a lot of, uh, of, like, crazy, like, kibble and junk in the back right there, but it's not too bad, and there is a one thing you can do about it, which we'll talk about in just a second here. Some nice weathering on the tr on the top right there. Those two pieces from the shoulder pads. And he actually rolls surprisingly well, which I was definitely surprised by when I transformed him for the first time. Uh, yeah, truck mode is awesome. Awesome. Like, look at this freaking thing. Do I even need to tell you that this thing is awesome? Look at it. Look at that freaking front profile, dude. That is insane. And one more thing I want to say about this truck mode is that he has this, like, opening right here for where, the, for where those wheels fold in. And it's a perfect, like, little finger perch right there. So you can hold it like a paper airplane if you want to. I don't know. I, I noticed that. And I just thought it was a really funny little thing. But, yeah, you can totally hold it like a paper airplane. Whoosh, go. Be free. Be free. I'm not actually going to throw it, though, because this is a $50 toy. And I I really, really like this toy. So super cool though. I love this truck mode. It is just, it's, it's just fucking crazy, dude. Before we get into comparisons though, we have to talk about the gun because they came up with some really awesome storage for the truck mode. Well, they certainly tried, uh, the, uh, the final result we'll talk about, but this freaking thing you might notice, uh, well, once I go get it under my bed, <laughs> okay. You might notice this like weird, like ball joint going on right here and here. Well, that's because this thing like splits in half right here. So you open that piece up like that and then that piece down like that. This is really, really crazy. And then you rotate in the middle here and then you rotate these pieces back like this. This is what you want to do with the thing. Yes, the, they actually came up with this crazy ass weapon storage. And then you have these two tabs right here on the truck mode and you just plug these in to these two tabs on either side. There you go. Uh, it, uh, it, it's not like the greatest weapon storage in the world. It's still obvious there. And I mean, you can see like these giant things sticking up of him. Like it kind of looks a little bit better without these on there. If you can see right there, but it is a really nice way to store them. Um, I will say there is one thing I was able to figure out. You can rotate them in, uh, only like, like how much, how, wait, 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 how did I do this before? You can rotate them inward and put them like that if you want to. I figured out you could do this. I think this might look a little bit neater overall. It's up to you whether you like that or not. But it's a fine little piece of weapon storage. And I just find it really crazy that the Hasbro team actually came up with this ridiculous weapon storage. That this piece has like multiple like functioning pieces in it to make it like transform into a thing that you can just plug onto the back of the truck. I think that's a really, really cool little touch. There's just a ton of things about this guy that are just so crazy. Like all that engineering with the gun, his entire arm with the freaking sword attached to his arm that just flings up into his hand, just 
crazy shit going on with this guy. That giant claw arm, man. Crazy ass shit. I love it. <laughs> we need more Transformers like this guy, man. Just goofy, wacky weirdos, dude. <laughs> and again, for comparison, first up, here he is with Studio Series Galvatron. And my god, this figure is so freaking awesome, dude. I just transformed him again for the first time in a little while. And oh my god, this thing is so awesome. Shame on anybody who slept on this Studio Series Galvatron, man. So damn amazing. But yes, there you have that right there. As you can see, he is quite a bit larger than Galvatron. But I mean, that is to be expected, of course. They're very different vehicles. But looking pretty cool together. And here he is with Sentinel Prime right there. They're actually pretty darn similar in length. Scourge is ever so slightly longer. And then here's one that I'm sorry I didn't show in robot mode as well. Here is the Revenge of the Fallen Megatron as well. So you can see how that looks. Here's a bit of a better look right here. And I do want to show, since I have this angle now, I do want to show like the length here of this boy. And then like Megatron, Sentinel Prime right there. You can see he's basically very, very similar height. And then same with Galvatron. So there you go. So, final thoughts on the Studio Series L Rise of the Beast Scourge. This dude is a fucking weirdo, and I absolutely love him. Oh my god, I am so here for this fucking figure. This dude is... I love him. Uh, these are the exact kind of Transformers that I just love, dude. Crazy stuff that is just fun to mess with and just wacky and goofy and everything in the middle and also just a fucking awesome design, dude. Like, seriously, such an awesome design. Really reminds me of old school Bayverse, which obviously I love. Like, this guy, if you didn't know any better, you would probably think that this was, like, one of the Decepticons in the first movie, right? Like, in the first Transformers movie, it literally looks like, like, a, like, a, like, a, like a character right out of that movie, man. I love it. Absolutely love it. Cool ass, awesome design, awesome figure, so many fun gimmicks and so much so much so many fun gimmicks to play with really fun and smooth transformation just a really great figure man if uh if you're if you were thinking about picking him up i a hundred percent recommend him dude we need more transformers like this dude just crazy goofy awesome designs that are just fun to play with man that is everything that i want in a transformer this guy is awesome the only issue i have with this guy is these awful smokestacks these are so goddamn annoying i hate them so unbelievably much i cannot put into words how much i hate these awful fucking smokestacks i really wish they were just on a tab or something that i could just like tab in to the back there like that because watch as soon as i let this go oh yeah it just falls right over like that that is by far the biggest problem with this figure man but aside from that he is fucking awesome i love this guy i'm so happy i picked him up yeah awesome figure s tier thank you all so much for watching this video hope you enjoyed it if you did maybe give me a like and subscribe for some more transformers reviews in the future see this is what i'm talking about with him kind of being a little bit more of a of a difficult one to stand up right there not too bad though and this is DK Guillotine, a signing out.